It is the 24th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Got a 6.3 magnitude earthquake south of the Fiji Islands. Uh, this one was pretty deep, uh, 362.2 miles deep. Uh, no tsunami warnings, of course. Obama officials pushed to underestimate Gulf oil spill. Now this is the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Amid the worst accidental, accidental release of crude oil in human history, the Obama administration sought to underestimate, undermine its own scientist estimates of just how much oil was gushing into the Gulf of Mexico. A newly disclosed email reveals... Obtained by a Freedom of Information Act request filed by the Advocacy Group Public Employees for Environmental Responsibility, uh, the message shows how the White House, the National Incident Command, and the Department of Interior recommended scientists with the U.S. Ge Geologic Survey lowball their estimates in public statements. <clears throat> The agency was able to determine that at least 25, at least 25,000 barrels of oil were gushing out of the damaged BP well in the Gulf, an estimate they said would be on the low end of the spectrum. But when those figures were reported by numbers of the press, they were stated dramatically lower, sparking complaints from scientists who felt their findings were being misrepresented. The email author, Dr. Marcia McNutt replied to the team by explaining that the White House had suggested she simplify the USGS estimate by claiming there was around 12,000 to 19,000 19, barrels per day gushing from the well, or as high as 25,000 barrels per day. I have reports on this. If you care to look back, where the estimates were way, way higher than that. Several hundred thousand barrels a day gushing out. And uh, the insanity, the insanity. Explosive volcano may lurk beneath Death Valley. Uh, California's Death Valley, already one of the hottest places on Earth, may have the potential to get a whole lot hotter and live up to its name in a surprising and possibly scary new way, according to new research. Uh, basically, they're saying... Dates from GLA uh, fuzzy, but the researchers used to think that Death Valley's largest crater, a half a mile wide gash in the earth, nearly 800 feet deep, formed in 4000 BC. Uh, yet new evidence uncovered by a team of uh, scientists at the Columbia University's Observatory suggests a dramatic crater called Ubihibi last erupted only 800 years ago. I got another um, big quake off of Bio Bio Chile, 6.2 magnitude. Uh, this one was a lot shallower, 18.5 miles deep, or 29.7 kilometers. And not an uncommon thing. We're getting a lot of 6.0s, 2, 3, a day. Magnitude 5.0 shakes big Hawaiian island. Uh, Halo Hawaii, a magnitude 5.0 earthquake and several small aftershocks shook Hawaii's big island on Sunday, but there were no reports of injury or damage. Uh, the quake struck near, I'm not going to slur these, beneath the south flank of the Kilauea volcano in Hawaiian's Volcano National Park at a depth of 5 miles, according to the report from the U.S. Geological Survey. The epicenter was 25 miles south of Hilo and 220 miles southwest of Honolulu. Uh, there was no tsunami threat, uh, but this is right there next to the volcano where they go into that. Um, the quake struck near a so-called Hoi Pele area. Uh, 16 earthquakes of the magnitude 4.5 or greater in the past 50 years, 8 of them since 1983. Um, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory spokeswoman uh, said in a statement, <clears throat> Two dead as storms pound south and midwest United States. Clay, Alabama, two people were killed in Burlingham uh, area as storms pounded the south and midwest, plummeting tornado warnings in a handful of states early Monday. And these are the, the series of storms that we've been getting here in the continental United States uh, ongoing. 
And uh, more whales washing up on New Zealand beaches. Uh, they're waiting for nightfall and high tide to try to save as many as they can. Uh, as about 90 pilot whales, again. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. The only thing I'm going to cover on the extinction protocol tonight is strongest radiation storm seen in seven years erupts from the sun. Now this is that big CME plasma burst, this M9, almost an X-class flare. Uh, heading right for us, and uh, we've seen videos, of course, where you see the snow uh, in the SOHO uh, observatory uh, satellites, and that's the plasma heading our way. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, and again, uh, there are several videos out on that. And that's about all I want to cover from them tonight. Over to, uh, I got a new site, uh, Earthquake Report Worldwide Volcano News. Uh, today, they've got the Hawaii Kilauea Volcano Earthquake and Eruption. Um, we do not know exactly what the action was before the earthquake, but at the moment, uh, at the moment one can see a constant eruption action at the Poioi Crater. Uh, the, Im the images refreshes approximately every minute, and uh, the eruption has kicked up uh, since the big earthquake. Spain, Canary Islands, El Hero. Uh, even with a minimal harmonic tremor, the surface jacuzzi waters are stirring stronger and stronger. Take a look at the webcam and see for yourself. And they have a link on that, of course. Uh, they got a story on the Bolivia uh, supervolcano, U T U R U N C U. Supervolcanoes are one of the nature's most destructive forces, but given that there are no record observations of super eruptions, the last occurred 74,000 years ago in Indonesia. Scientists don't fully understand how they work. Now a team studying the world's fastest inflating volcano, uh, the one in Bolivia, is shedding some light on how supervolcanoes become so powerful. And uh, they go on to saying that... Um, <clears throat> One of the biggest places uh, that's upgoing is in South America, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina, known to have uh, up to like eight. Yeah. It's pop-marked with calderas from at least eight massive super eruptions, the youngest dating to around a million years ago or so. And a very interesting uh, website. You might want to check it out. I'll definitely provide a link to that. Over to the RSOE. Of course, they have the severe weather coming out of the United States uh, at a, a Burlington... Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, got some major flash floodings in Fiji. Still going on with all the flooding in Africa, Mozambique area. Uh, they've got that tropical storm and all the all the craziness that's going on there. Uh, surprise snowstorm in Washington. It was much worse than the uh, forecasters uh, tried to predict. And uh, the insanity continues in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, avalanches going on in the state of Colorado, Vail Mountain, uh, had two deaths uh, in the last couple of days. Um, they are saying the snowpack is extremely unstable, uh, extra high kind of thing, and they're telling people to stay out of the areas. And people are out, you know, adventure skiing anyway and getting into trouble. Uh, the cold wave in India is mellowing out a little bit. They're putting out reports that uh, it's, it's, it's easing a bit. Uh, that's been gone ongoing for more than a month now. Uh, flooding in uh, Malawi, M-A-L-A-W-I, that's a small African nation, and they are dealing with that tropical storm as well. Extreme flooding, uh, damages, the works. Uh, extreme weather out of Australia, state of Queensland, the southwest region. They're having uh, the severe Midwestern United States style thunderstorms. Uh, they're saying a lot of people are worried because of all the extensive flooding they had last year. Uh, they're saying it's not going to be nearly as bad this year, but uh, definitely be on your toes. Uh, where else? Where else? And that's about it besides the, the shipwreck off of New Zealand that's continuing to leak oil, that, that uh, freighter that broke in two up on the coral reef uh, last month, I believe. And that's about all new they have climate-wise. Over to the radio, radiation stuff, e, e News. TEPCO admits radiation levels from Fukushima increasing. It's now releasing 70 million becquerels per hour. Reactor number three is leaking the most. And you got to remember that's the one with the MOX fuel, the pluton plutonium enriched uranium fuel, 
and uh, dirty, 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 dirty reactor. Uh, OP Rips PBS Fukushima documentary. Miles O'Brien Cavalier treatment of potential increase in cancer. An absurdity low outliner. Uh, inexcusable muddying of the facts. Shame on you, PBS. Shame on you. Radiation dose spikes in uh, northeast of Tokyo after last night's five intensity quake. Highest level measured since April. Uh, double the average. The ground's still shaking and trembling on Japan. That thing is sliding into the ocean. Uh, Japan Today, police especially needed in Fukushima evacuation zone. 750 officers will be assigned to the disaster area. Gover government's asking for volunteers who are single. Now, I've heard reports where people have actually broken into the exclusion zone, um, hit the ATMs, and took all the money out of the ATMs, and all this radioactive money is circulating uh, throughout Japan. No telling where this highly dosed radiation money is. And uh, So if you're holding into any yen, uh, definitely put it to the Geiger counter. Uh, governments ignoring actual radiation exposure of Fukushima workers. Uh, cast doubts on accuracy, adequacy of current system. The insanity continues. Uh, Fukushima nuke plant intact after quake 5 of 7 on Japan scale. Strong enough to make hanging objects swing violently and most unstable ornaments fall. You gotta remember reactor number 4 is cracked and Arnie Gunderson's worried about that thing falling down. And if that goes, we are in serious trouble. Uh, not that we're already in serious, serious trouble. Uh, NHK, no records of government meetings on Fukushima. Decided evacuation zones, food restrictions, more violations of the law, question mark. Also missing for meetings with TEPCO, and they have a video on that. Fukushima worker, absolutely government has the meeting records. Wonder why they hit it. A government withheld estimates showing energy surplus in Japan. Led to officials approving reactor restarts. No renewables included in public estimate. Uh, so they didn't put any of the, the, the renewable energies, the solar, the, the wind power, into their estimates as far as their power outage. Japan is doing just fine without nuclear reactors. The whole world needs to shut down the nuclear reactors. They are a crime against humanity. And if you support nuclear energy, I feel sorry for you. That's just insane. Insane. You're going to kill us all. Uh, they didn't bleed and hair didn't fall out yet. So many were deathly exhausted, doctor on internal radiation exposure. And of course they've got the 5.1 quake that hits Fukushima 35 minutes or 30 minutes after a 4.5. Again, a very unstable area continues. United States Museum makes it clear that art will not go to Fukushima because of radiation. That's strangely ironic, isn't it? And uh, NHK on March 12th, they're reporting, oops, we're not supposed to say that. Fuel rods are exposed, and the director cuts off the reporter, um, and then the, the reactor explodes three hours later. Now, this was reactor number one, and they have the audio on that where you can actually um, see the subtitles and see what they're going on about. That is it all. I'm about to throw at you tonight. Here we are going into 14 minutes already. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Thanks for your support, everybody.